Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the West, more specifically, Las Vegas, Nevada. And we are in front of the Las Vegas Neon Museum. Now, this is a museum where it preserves the neon heritage of Las Vegas. You know, very, very much ingrained in Las Vegas culture and people's view of Vegas is the massive neon signs, the classic neon signs for all the hotels and casinos and restaurants that dotted the Las Vegas area. And uh, the Paleolithic Museum was uh, founded in 1996 and the reason that it was founded was they tore down the Sands Casino and in, in, instead of preserving the sign, it, it's massive sign, it had nowhere to go, so they stripped it for metal and it was gone. A piece of history erased. And apparently a lot of the uh, old signs uh, from, from the various places in Las Vegas have just kind of been sitting around in an old lot, uh, collecting dust, deteriorating. And a decision was made that, that this piece of heritage needed to be preserved. They needed to start uh, saving the signs and having somebody to preserve them as a part of Las Vegas history. So the Neon Museum was founded. For quite some time, it was an appointment only experience, but in um, 2012, they did start charging admission to the general public and allowing them to come in. Now, they are a little bit, they have, they have, they have rules about uh, about filming, so I did. I was able to schedule a, a, a filming session, uh, a 30 minute filming session where I could go in and, and film a portion of the outside part of the museum. Uh, so we will be doing that right now. So please, follow me. Now the structure that serves as the entrance point and lobby is part of the La Concha Hotel. It used to be the lobby of the La Concha Hotel. It was actually destroyed, but the, the lobby was moved over here as part of the Neon Museum. See the La Concha sign there? And then this amazing yellow ducky right there. and. Um, obviously, I don't know the history behind all these signs, but uh, if you recognize something, leave a comment in the comment section. Seems to be some sort of alien-themed hotel. See, it says Area 51. Has a little alien getting shot in the face by a tank. But then there's seahorses, so that's a little confusing. But uh, oh yeah, there's more, more alien action over here. Right here it says the Barbary Coast. And then the flame. Steak and prime rib. Prime rib seems to be a very popular dish here in Las Vegas. Some sort of 24 hour eatery. And also look at that cool old school American Express sign. This massive guitar from the Hard Rock Cafe. There's an overwhelming amount of signage in here for the Sahara. Little camels down there. Yeah, you can see different layers of signage. Some just have a few stray letters. Others are full signs. Silver Slipper. It's the beautiful Stardust Casino sign there. And then uh, that massive guitar from the Hard Rock Cafe. Do you remember, or back in the 80s, the Hard Rock Cafe was like the coolest thing on the planet. Everyone wanted the t-shirts. Says, time to swing to standard wholesale supply. Always love when they have little clocks on the sun. Oh, look at this. It's got a little uh, bikini woman there swinging on the pendulum. This looks like some sort of magic lamp right there. 
maybe a genie, the kind of the genie would be inside. And then it's just like general sparkles, neon sparkles. You can see this uh, Chinese woman here from the China Garden Cafe. This way for wedding information. I guess, uh, what, what is it about Vegas that, that compels people to, uh, to get married with uh, little to no planning? Here we have this giant fiberglass skull. Not sure where that came from. What does that say? Las Vegas Club Casino. Get a clear view of that big skull right there. It's like a big pirate skull. So awesome. Midtowner Hotel and Apartments. Some sort of glowing milkman there. Okay, I'm confused here. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, is that? I know there was that. It is, basically, this is right out of the movie. Um, I don't know if. Uh, that was used at a casino or, or something, but yeah, from the, this looks like the sign from the movie Beetlejuice. Oh, howdy. This metal uh, pool hustler here, he's aiming to take a shot. If we look down here, we see the uh, I don't know what is going on here. This is a, a shirt with a face. He puts his arms up and down like rah, 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 rah. Angry shirt. Blackjack Motel. Look at this little character here. His little bindle and his pith helmet. The Chief Hotel Court, Tropicana Mobile Park. So it's actually a trailer park of some sort. The Algiers Hotel. And oh wow, look at this. This is just part of a giant hotel sign. It says M-O-T. Looks like it's missing the E-L. You can see that character up there, a little cowboy with a cigarette. I love these old color TV signs back from when that was an enticement. Clark Inn. Fixed lower rates. This sign here is actually still buzzing. It's the Yucca. Looks like it's got a pineapple there on the top. Says Sassy Sally's and Binions. That's that's a hotel that's still in business. And the Golden Nugget actually stayed there. Gold Nugget Gambling Hall. The City Center Motel. You can see it actually has a little city there on top of the sign. There's so many colors, so many layers of signage here. What's this right here? Yeah, you can see this, just all the tiny little lights that go into that. In this area here, you can see signs, I guess, that are in the process of being processed or repaired. See them, uh, different states of assembly. It's Ellis Island Restaurant. I guess, I'm not sure where this is from, but it looks like, uh, 
little tokens or coins. I don't know, maybe some sort of baseball themed casino. And another magic lamp. So here, this is the massive sign for the Moulin Rouge casino that was built in the 1950s. Tam O'Shatner's Friendly Inn. It's like a woman's face right there. Next to the Jackpot Motel sign. Queen of Hearts Motel. And look at that Nevada shaped sign with a star for where we are right now. Now our trip to the Neon Museum is not yet finished because I was actually invited to come back later tonight for the nighttime guided tour. And you cannot film on the nighttime guided tour, but you are allowed to take still photographs and place them here on YouTube. So I will be doing just that. So please enjoy. So very cool to be able to see the Neon Museum, which is also known as the Neon Boneyard. Uh, very interesting to be able to see them both during the day and then at night. You kind of see, it's, it's like a whole different world seeing them illuminated. And um, I did want to point out that some of the signs are actually not antique signs, but were actually a part of an art exhibit done by Tim Burton, who actually did a, I guess like, almost like a, um, Almost like a re-theming of the of the neon boneyard in um, I guess in uh, in 2019 he came in redid everything and he made um, some custom signs. Unfortunately, the pandemic cut the exhibit very short and he left and had to pack up and leave um, during the pandemic. I guess in February of 2020, he packed up all stuff and leave. So an incredibly short run uh, for this exhibit that he did, but he left some of the pieces there. So the Beetlejuice sign and the Area 51 uh, motel sign, as well as a few others, um, are actually or hand created um, pieces of art by Tim Burton. So not antique signs, but still pretty amazing. Also, um, there is a section here after, you, there's, a, there's two different tours. You can tour the main gallery and then there is the North Gallery. What the North Gallery is, is actually home to a very, very cool show called Brilliant. And what they do there is they take broken signs that do not light at all and they use a projection system to do a light show with music and display that, which is really, really cool.
So yes, a really awesome attraction. I think this is kind of a must do. I would recommend anyone in uh, Las Vegas stop by and do this. There's, there's some way to get some of the real history of Las Vegas. They do a guided tour uh, with a really, really excellent um, tour guide that gave some just great information. Gave a real good understanding of Las Vegas and the history behind these signs and how they relate to the businesses and to the people. So thank you again. Big thank you to the Neon Museum for allowing me to, to film and allowing me to come back and, and show um, some of the stills of the, of the signs at night. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe. Um, you can, uh, if you subscribe, you'll get the new videos as they come out. And also, if you, if you like this video, check out some of the older videos on my channel. Um, I have been traveling in the United States. I visited the 48 continental United States, filming roadside attractions, museums, amusement parks, and haunted houses in all of them. Uh, other ways to help, you can donate to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also some goodies in the Etsy shop. All that helps keep this channel afloat, helps keep this train on the track, this boat on the water and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, this one's in the bag.